Are the Falcon wings working? Nope, none of these are working. This here is my 2022 Tesla Model X long range. And in this video, I'm going to see what happens when the battery says 0%. I'll go inside the car, we'll drive around this neighborhood, like right here, it's a pretty safe spot to do so. There's a lot of place I can pull over if I have to, and then hopefully push it to our house and then charge it. I have a software update, which I'm now going to install at 2% battery. Unlike the Model 3 and Y, you can't just touch this and then change it into kilometers. The car says we can go 10 kilometers. We're going to reset the trip A. I'll have the AC running as well. If it hits zero kilometers, do we just pull over or like what happens? So let's try this out. So the speed is not going to be super high. I'm pretty sure again, if you drive in a highway, this will be much, much scarier so let's see what happens we're at one percent two percent so it's going back and forth So it shows zero, I'm gonna reset the B. We just hit 10 kilometers, so it should say now zero. It still says we can go one kilometers. Let's see what happens when we hit zero kilometers. We're at zero kilometers. We still got power if I push it. So far I have driven 20 kilometers after the car said 0% battery and it doesn't go any negative percent or negative kilometers or anything like that. That was all the way in. Unable to drive battery level too low. It's the first warning we've gotten. Since 0% we have driven 30 kilometers. This is all the way in the pedal and it's almost not even drivable. Regen is still working now. I think we might have only maximum two shots at this. At this point, the car is giving me warnings like this to pull over immediately. Unfortunately, the GoPro ran out of battery at the most important time. I was so lucky that I was able to roll on the driveway but I couldn't move forward every time I would try to release the brake pedal the car would roll back and it would just make noises and things like that so I had to just put it in park charge immediately to ensure vehicle will start remaining responsive and to avoid potential battery repair. So we drove 33 kilometers when it's at zero. My microphone had a static, so this is a voiceover, but what I was saying is the door button still works. When I push the brake pedal, it closes. And I don't think it's also a smart idea to uh, close the door because we can't open the door if the 12 volt goes out. Uh-oh. It did lock me out. Are the Falcon wings working? Nope, none of these are working. Is the charge port working? And I think, yeah, that's it. We got green, we got green. I had to use the 110 connector, the mobile connector. 
Oh, okay. Finally, I can get in. I couldn't find this. Like on the Model Y, there's like a connector you can do to pop up the frunk. I thought it might be somewhere here since there's like a spot. It does say it's going to take 24 plus hours. We're at 0% battery, unable to drive. The Falcon Wing doors and stuff are not showing. I'm gonna turn off the AC because this does use a lot of power from the 110 outlet. Those are the trips. These are the warnings we had. Hopefully it charges enough so I can pull up a bit and then use the wall connector. Charging rate shows zero kilowatts, but it does say like stop charging here. I set it 200%. It is charging as you can see, it is green flashing. What happens if I unplug? Will it allow me to pull forward just a little bit so I can use the 48 amps? It might. Oh, yes. There we go. Okay. Now it should reach. I'm not going to close the door. Okay, this reaches. That's the wall connector at 60 amp breaker. It should give us 48 amps. It is sending power down to the Model X. Right now it's at 7 out of 48 amps. It might be taking some time, but it says it will take 10 hours and 30 minutes to charge from 0 to 100%. And that's what it looks like when the Model X is completely out of power. It takes even longer to use the full 48 amp. I will not lie, it was very frustrating when I was completely locked out of the car. Like I expected to at least be able to get in the car, open the tailgate or something like that so I can open up the charge port. Pushing the button on the charge cable, it will still not open the charge port. I had to put some electrical tape on this thing and then kind of pry it open slowly and gently and nothing seemed to be broken. Right now the car isn't taking the full power to charge. So hopefully nothing is like broken or anything. I'm still not sure if everything's good or not. I still need to find out where that emergency wiring thing is so I can open up the front or something like that. I was completely locked out of the car. And imagine if I left my phone by accident in the car. Now I couldn't call anybody even. Like that was really scary. Look how quickly the tea light is flashing green. It usually starts to slow down whenever it's reaching a charge, but I haven't paid much attention, but I don't think it was doing it the flashing this quickly when I would come home and plug the car in. This is a Model Y Performance. It has 80% battery and that's kind of how the green light is. So the Falcon Wing doors are not showing, but I could open it. The graph is still not here. Oh, there we go, there we go. So we're looking to be using the entire power here to charge this Model X. It's been about 10 minutes and it's still at zero kilometers. And if we look here, the gain says zero kilometer. I'll unplug the car and then plug it back in. Let's see if that does anything. That's what it looks like. Plug it in. Green. Let's hope it starts adding some uh, mileage to the car. On the app, it shows two kilometers has been added. 1%. So maybe it was taking so long is because we were below zero. Like we were driving on zero for 33 kilometers. So maybe it was charging that up earlier on. And then now it's at 1% after it completed this reserve. That's my guess. We're at three kilometers. The gain now shows 21 kilometers. The car says we can go 20 kilometers. It seems like it was charging up that portion that we used after the car said zero kilometers. Still doesn't show the car over here. So if it doesn't do that after it charges a bit more, I'll just hold these buttons and restart it and hopefully that will fix it. After completing the update, the car is now visible over here. And we're charging since we're power sharing. We're only getting 24 amps. That car will stop charging soon. And then that way we should get all 48 amps sent to this car. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one.